Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. And we are also here because we want to read and write Urdu. We are doing both. We are learning to read and write both of the languages, Hindi and Urdu. Today, today, today is our day number 8. In the first four days, we learned the first matra, the Aki matra, and we learned some letters in the process. In the next four days, day number 5, 6, and 7, and 8 today, in the next four parts, we are doing the Iki matra, and today is the last part. So let's begin, shall we? In the Iki matra, we learned, as we discussed the last previous three days, day number 7, 6, and 5, the Iki matra, we have a Choti Iki matra, we have a Badi Iki matra. For Choti Iki matra in Urdu, you take your letter and you put a z, you put a you put a symbol underneath it. You put a line underneath it, and that line is called zair. That line is called zair. In Hindi, you take the letter and you put a stick to the left hand side. For badi ki matra, for badi ki matra in Urdu, instead of putting a zair, instead of putting a zair. We take the letter and we combine it with a choti here. We combine it with choti here. Just like that. And it becomes B. Voila. Let's begin. Shall we? So here is a, but for for the O itself, for the O itself, in Urdu it, nothing changes. In Urdu it follows the same pattern. You take your Aleph and you put a zero underneath, it, it becomes choti. Choti ki matra. In Hindi, they have a unique letter for it, for the sound E, short E. Looks like this. And for the long E, it's the same symbol, except you put this thing on the top, and that represents a lift plus the choti E. That's this symbol right here. Let's begin. Before we get going, and before we start writing words, let's talk about this letter that we learned towards the end of yes, yesterday's video, day number 7, and I went over it quite fast. Let's learn it because this, this letter is going to appear quite a few times in, in today's video uh, in different words. The letter is, looks like this, and the letter is called Kaf. The other letter that we learned that looks like this is also called Kaf. We learned, we must have learned Kaf and Gaf together on day number 3, Kaf and Gaf. This is also called calf. They are both called calf, but the difference is how you difference is how one pronounces this. This g is just g. Oh, we need we need calf, not gaf. This gaf, this gaf is this calf is just k. It's just k. Whereas this one is k. K and k. To make you understand the equivalent concept in English, this this is exactly equal to letter Q. And this is exactly equal to letter K. And for letter K, Hindi has a letter. Hindi has a unique letter, it looks like this. That's a k. That is exactly exact equivalent of that. But Hindi does not have a letter for Q. So if you want to write Q, all you can do is write approximate letter, which is what they, 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 take, they take the letter K and they put a dot next underneath it to remind themselves that this is this is the curve we are dealing with with the dots. It's approximately equal to K because the exact sound for K, K and K, the second sound does not exist in Hindi, and for good reason, because it is the Arabic sound. It came from the Arabs when they invaded the subcontinent. Do you understand? It's not part of the Hindi Hindi language. So Hindi. Yeah, in, in Urdu, we do have both of them, but in Hindi it does not. Let's begin. So this is Ka. This is called Kaf. It looks like this, and we're going to use this. We're going to use it in few words. It will, it will appear eventually. Let's look at the first pair we have there. We're going to do we're going to do the words in pairs as we always have been doing. One with the choti ki matra, one with the badi ki matra. Let's learn this very first one. We're going to learn how to write the name of the first letter in Urdu alphabet. The name of the first letter in Urdu alphabet, as you already know by now, is called Aleph. Aleph. But as you can see, 
leaves very quick. Alif. Oh. Lif. Alif. Chodi ki matra. And you also notice that I put a dot there, which means that it, it ends in an F and not a PH. For F, for PH in Hindi, you have this letter F. That's exactly equivalent to it. But the sound for F does not exist in Hindi, so we approximate it by putting a dot on the nitty to remind ourselves that that's a F, that's a F. PH does not exist in Urdu. So we have no unique letter for it, so we combine the two, same thing like you do in English, with the P. We take a P and combine it with the Chut Do Chashmi here. We combine it with the Do Chashmi here, and this is F, which is the exact equivalent of this one. This is F with a dot. Alif. So we need a, right there is a, then we need a lam, but lam is going to take a chote iki mantra, so we need a zir underneath it, and then fe, like this. When you're writing freehand, that's what it looks like, because one does not stop in the middle. One does not stop. Alif, lam, and fe. You just continue. And you take care of your matras and the dots towards the end. Except you don't call the matras, you take care of the zir and the, and the uh, dot, the nukta as we call it in Urdu. Bindi, I think it's called in Hindi. We do that all, we do all that at the end. Let's look another word with the badi iki matra. With the badi iki matra. Here is alif, and you put a symbol over it. This symbol we have already talked about it before many times. This symbol is called mat. Mat turns a into a. So that symbol there, that symbol there is Aki Matra for Alif and it appears only on the Alif because all the other letters will take Alif. You understand? A, then we have a S, then we have Ma, Meem and Alif, Ma, that's going to make a Aki Matra, Ma. And me, as you know, it starts on the top and goes like this, but when it's about to join something, it goes from the bottom and it joins like that to Alif. That's your Ma. As, As, Ma, and then Noon and Chodiya. That's going to go together. These two are going to go together. So we have four parts. We have four different parts in this word. A, and then So, and then Ma, and then Ni. I left no room for myself to write, continue writing in Hindi. A, S, Ma, Ni, Asmani. Let's put them together. So there's your A, this is a S, this is a Ma, and finally Ni. The noon is going to join shorty here like this, Asmani. Asmani simply means having to do with sky. Having to do with sky. I'm going to rewrite this thing because this is very childish. But I'm not going to read. I'm not going to erase it so you, so that you can have a contrast. You can compare. This is how it should look like. Asmani. Having to do with sky. Let's do one more. Mo, lo, no. Mo, lo, no. As you can see. There is no such word ma la na malan. Actually, it's not a na, I have a na. So since I have a na, we have to erase this thing. The noon can not noon can not be so big. The noon has to be small. The noon has to take its small form and join with the alif. And that's a lam. That's a that's a lam. Malna. There is no such word. There is no such word because we are missing iki matra. Choti ki matra to be precise, which will go on the very first letter. It converts ma into a me, and now we have a word milna. Milna is into meat. Let's do another word with the badi ki matra. I'm going to first write it in Hindi. Ka, but this time I notice there is a dot underneath it. That is to remind us that we are not talking about K, we are not talking about letter K, which is this letter, Ka, we are talking about Q. 
which is this letter right here. So, ka, then we have a re, so the ra joins here, and this becomes re, the y is going to take this form because it's appearing in the middle of the word, choti is appearing in the middle of the word, so it appears like that, kar, re, and then we have a b. So here's your b, and now we take another choti here, this is a choti here, but it appears like that because it's in the middle, karibi. Let me rewrite the same word, let me rewrite the same words in a disjointed fashion so that you could see the each individual letter. Kaf, which looks like this. Re, chotiye, be, and chotiye. So there is your bari ki matra right here, and there is another bari ki matra. Re and be. Karibi. Karibi as in near. Well, I didn't mean to say karibi, I meant to say karib. There is no karibi. There is no karibi in Urdu. What the hell? Karib. I suppose you could say Karibi, no, Karib, Karib, Karib as in, Karib as in near, wo Karibi rata hai, wo Karibi rata hai, he lives nearby, let's do one more, another word starting with Q and not a K, K with a dot there, so that tells me it's going to start with this K, this this calf. So, Mo and to Kasmat. Well, we'll we'll take care of that in a second. Ka, so, Mo, to Kasmat. There is no such word. We're missing a matra. We need a matra. We need a chote ki matra under the ka. Ka. And now it becomes Kismat. Question is, how are we going to put them together? Let's do it together, shall we? Remember, the meme, when it's, by, when it's about to join something, it starts like this and goes like that. So we have ka, sa, ma, ta. Ka, sa, ma, ta. And chodi ki mata. Zer. Kismat. That's what it looks like. Do you understand? Let me do it one more time. Kismat. Kismat as in fortune. Kismat as in fortune. As in luck. As in fate. F-A-T-E. Fate. Kismat. Let's do one more. And this time we're going to use this letter that we learned before on day number six. On day number six we learned this letter. Swad. Swad is called, and this is approximately equal to so. In Hindi, you will just use so. Swad. Again, a writer of Urdu would know a given word, whether it calls for seen or whether it calls for swad. Whether it calls for this letter or whether it calls for this letter, the writer would simply have to know in order to know the right spelling. Let's write, let's write the word. O, so and L. And since I already told you that we're going to use this sir, so we have a alif, swat, and lam. A so l, asal. There is no such word asal. The word we're looking for is asli. Not asal, asli. The lamb will have a choti, a badi choti with it. Asli. Lamb will have a badi next, next to it. They are going to join together and we need a badi ki matra. Asli. But as you can see, nothing changes in Hindi. Hindi still uses a. Uh, but Urdu writer would have to know that this particular word, asli, has an Arabic origin and requires swad and not a sa. Uh, so, lo, and then the asli. That's what it looks like. It should have actually this part, you see, this part is for the swad itself. And when it's about to join something, it should make one more. 
it should make one more. Oh, uh, so, and there you go, asli. Just like this is seen, and when it's about to join something, but let's say if it's about to join alif, then you need one more. So this is this part is seen. The two of them, this two of them represent seen, and when it's about to join alif, you need one more. Same thing here. Swat. This is swat. When it's about to join something, it needs one more. That's what I left out. And that's asli. Asli, asli as in original. Let's do one more word with the same letter. So, swat. No. See. But, no, see. As you can see, in Hindi nothing changes. You will still use the sir, the sir that you have there. But the writer of Urdu would understand that Naseeb is an Arabic word and requires, the correct spelling of the word requires Swat and not a Sir. No. Noon. Swat. Choti ye. And a bay. Let's join them together. Noon. Swat. And then ye. And then bo. Naseeb. Let me do it freehand. There you go, that's much better. Nasib. Nasib means fortune. Nasib is same as kismat, they are, they, are, they are hamanam. They mean the same thing. Nasib, kismat, fate, fortune. Let's do another one. So that's what is the badi, badi ki matra. Let's do another word with the choti ki matra. Gaf. And then no. When it joins, it's going to look like this. This is your go, and then a no. Again, I should I shouldn't have to do it like this baby time. I'm just going to do it freehand. One does not stop at number. Do you understand? All of the details you take care of at the end. When I went like this, I knew obviously that I'm not writing a lamb. I knew I knew what I was doing because I was I knew what I was doing. I knew I, this was not a lamb, I was going to make a go. Gun. What the hell is gun? This is not English language. We have no such word as gun in Hindi or Urdu. We are missing a matra. And since we are talking about iki matra, we need a choti iki matra. And since there are only two letters, it has to be the one or the other. So obviously, it's not gani, it's gin. The matra is going to go on go. Gin, as in to count, to count something. Gin le unko, gin le usko. Aap count, are you count these things? Gin ke mujhe, gin ke, gin ke mujhe, but gin kar mujhe bataaye, kitna hai? Count it and then tell me how much it is. How, how many coins are there? Let's do another word. With a choti, choti ki matra one more time. This is lam, li. Li, and then we're going to put a calf and a he together. Choti he ki matra. And that will make a kha sound. For which, for which Hindi does have a unique letter, and the letter is kha. Lekh. In Urdu, we do not have a unique letter for it, so we have to improvise by putting the two letters together just like we do in English. Ka and the he join together. Kaaf and do chashmi he. Kaf and do chashmi here are going to join, and it looks like this. It has to join lam, so lam comes and joins. There we go. Now I'm going to rewrite it freehand. Watch what happens. No, don't watch what I'm. Don't watch what I was doing. Don't watch what. Don't watch what hap, Don't watch what happens. Move your eyes away until I got it right. There we go. And that's a huge L. Lekh. Lekh as in right. Lekh as in right. Let's do one more. No. Go. Oh, we just did it, didn't we? 
Knuckly. Did we do Knuckly? I don't know. Knuckly. But this curve has a dot underneath it. That tells me that we're going to take Q and not K. No, Ko and then Li. Le and Knuckly. One more time. Knuckly. Knuckly is in fake. Something that is fake is called Knuckly. Let's do the next one. Same thing with the, with the Q. Ka, Bo, and Lo. But this one has the dot in it. That tells me we need a Q. So we need this Ka and an Aleph. That's the Aki Matra. Then we have a Bo, and then we have a Lo. Kabel. Kabel, as you and I both know, is no such word. We are missing a matra. We, we need a choti iki matra. The question is, where is it going to go? Is it going to go in the first part, or second part, or third part? To which you will say, it's a stupid question. Because how can it possibly go in the first part? First part already has a matra. It's aki matra. So it's going to go either here or here. It's either kabil or kabali. Obviously, it's not kabali, it's kabil. Kabil as in? If you're Kabil, Kabil means to be capable, to be able to do something, to be, to be, it, it means to be able, capable, qualified. If you're qualified, you say, Me Kabil ho, me Kabil ho is kam ke liye. I'm qualified for this work. Do you understand? Kabil. Let's put them together. Ka, Ba, and then L, L. And then Be is going to require a Z. Kabil. Kabil as in capable, qualified. Kabil. Let's do next pair. Next pair is also going to require the same letter that we just talk about, talked about, which was K. Which was K. Kaf plus an H. K. This is this is going to make. This makes a K. So we need a K. And then we need a R. R which looks something like this just give me one second I have something misspelled in my notes I won't fix it right now and then I have a key so we need a calf and a chodi here so that's a body key matra that's just a curve. There is no matra there, just a curl. So ko and a ro, they join together, curl. And then kaf and a choti are going to join together. Kaf and a choti are going to join together. And as it stands, it says karki. As you can see here, karki. Again, there is no such word as karki. It does, we already have a badi iki matra, but it also requires a choti iki matra in one of these two letters. And one of these two letters is the first one. It needs a zero. Kirki, it needs a zero in the middle. Kirki is in window. So this particular word happens to have both choti ki matra and badi ki matra. It begins with the choti ki matra and with the badi ki matra. Kirki, window. Let's do one more. Ko, ta, bo. As you can see, it has no dot underneath it. Since it has no dot underneath it, I know that this ko is being used as letter K. So we need ka. Ko, ta, ba. That's the aki matra. That's where te plus alif is. Katab. There is no such word, katab. We need matra, iki matra. We need a zer underneath the ka to make it ki, kitab. And now you know what it is. Kitab, obviously, you know, kitab means book. Let's do one more. Oh, we haven't put them together yet. Let's put them together on the top here. It's actually very simple. K, Ta, Bo, Kitab. It looks like this. And the reader will understand perfectly fine what I wrote down. 
The darts don't need to be too se separated like they were here. It can be together. The calf here is a little bit shorter, here is a little bit longer, but that, all of that is fine. The reader would understand it. It's kitab. Let's do one more word. Let's do one more word, but this time ki ma to ayash lasted. I gave away the matra, didn't I? I didn't want to give away the matra. That's okay. It's a badi ki matra. It's a badi ki matra. That means we're going to need a choti here. Somewhere in the middle, we're going to need a choti here. So that's what badi ki matra is. It's a, it doesn't have a dot, so we need a calf. But unfortunately, the word that we're about to write does require a dot. It will begin with calf. This calf. Calf. It will require a Q, not a K. That makes a key. That's a key. And then we have a M. And then we have a T. Kimat. Kimat. What do you suppose Kimat means? Well, you know what Kimat means. Kimat means price. Kimat. One more time, I'm going to do it slowly so you can see how I'm writing it without lifting the hand. Voila. Kimat. Is ki kimat kya hai? Kimat means price. Let's do one last word before we call it a day. One last word that we are about to do is a word which I believe I have we have already done it twice. I'm going to do it thrice because it's an important word. Because the word that we are about to write, because if you if it turns out that the person is unable to write that word either in Hindi or Urdu, the word that we are about to learn, if the person is unable to write that word in either Hindi or Urdu, then the question is, what the bloody hell are you doing here? That's all. It's a very important word. Let's do it. So we're going to use he, this he right here. It's called Choti he. We have done it before. This is nothing new. He. Then we have a noon. Han. Then we have a dal. The. And then we have a Choti he. So it becomes a D. So far it says Handi. We don't need bloody Handi because there is no bloody Handi. What I'm trying to say is Hindi. So we Hindi, not her, but he. Choti e ki matra under the her. We need a zer here. So that zer is a choti e ki matra. Another thing we have to understand is that when we put them together in Urdu, this is your her, this is the na, and then the D. This is exactly how we write it. Hindi. In Urdu, in Urdu it requires the entire noon, the whole noon. We do not have a concept in Urdu of half letters, but Hindi does. This is not Hinadi, it's Hindi, because it's Hindi, the na joins the he part, is hin. It's not he na, it's hin. So you have two choices. Either you can write it with the half n, like that, let me, let me put them together. The half n, like this, this is this is perfectly fine. Or another way that we write Hindi is to put your he and then you put a dot on top of it. And that dot tells me that dot replaces the half n. So now what we have written on the blackboard is not he, we have not written he, what we have written on the on the blackboard is hin, hin, and all we didn't all we need now is d, which is right here. Hindi. There we go. And that's what I meant by if we are here to learn to read and write Urdu and Hindi, if you are here to learn to read and write Urdu and you can write, cannot write Hindi in Urdu, there is a bloody problem. Similarly, if you are here to read and write Hindi and you cannot write the word Hindi in Hindi, uh, we got a problem. Hence, it was an important word. I'm looking forward to the day when we can write the word Urdu in Urdu or Hindi for that matter. Right now we can do neither because we have not learned U ki matra. We do not know how to produce U sound. Well, we know how to produce it. We don't know how to 
manifest it in writing, how to show it in writing, because we have not learned Uki Matra. I'm going to stop babbling now. All right. We'll meet again tomorrow. This is our end of the. This is our end of the Iki Matra. We're going to move on to the third Matra tomorrow. We'll either do Uki Matra or Oki Matra. I have not made up my mind yet. We'll do one or the other, either Uki Matra or Oki Matra, and it's going to last for four days. And then finally, we're going to do four, spend four more days on Eki Matra. So in the twelve more days, we'll finish. We will have finished. We will have finished all the Matra. Uki Matra for next four days, Oki Matra for four more days, and finally Eki Matra. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.